Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. So I'm going to be going through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify them. The first card that I'm looking at is giving me an indication that there's this element of restrictions and limitations. With this particular energy, I'm seeing here yeah, that many of you are feeling as if, you know, you are stuck in a situation. You can't get out of it. It feels as if you're waiting for this individual to do something or perhaps you've been waiting around for this person to make a move. Now, with this card, what I see and sense is that there's this element of helplessness connected to it. Typically, Capricorn individuals are the type of people that like to, you know, get very hands-on. You like to get involved in a situation. You like to be proactive. Now, under these circumstances, it feels as if you haven't been able to follow your heart. You haven't been able to do what you feel compelled to do in respect of serving this relationship, uplifting this relationship and making it a more healthy experience for both you and this individual. It feels as if there's this energy of one person doing more for the other. I'm also picking up this energy of where you've been trying to caress this individual, trying to lift their spirits and um, make them feel better about life. It feels like this individual you are dealing with could have been going through a difficult time. For some reason, I'm picking up this energy of this person being wounded and you feeling compassion towards them. This may have been the cycle of your relationship where you've been constantly trying to uplift this individual, constantly trying to nourish their soul and make them feel better about their life. Now, for some of you, you may be involved with an individual that may have had a difficult childhood or they may have been through some painful experiences that shape them into who they are right now. That is definitely being emphasized in terms of their energy. So I sense here that... From your, you know, good heart, from your nature, from who you are as a person, you wanted to make this person feel better. You may have seen that they were going through, you know, a string of challenges or hardships in their life. And, you know, I feel like you just genuinely wanted to be there for this individual. However, this cycle that you got involved with when it comes to this person, it feels a bit ongoing. It feels as if you were constantly putting in the energy, the effort to try to lift their spirit, to make them feel good, to make them feel better about their life. And, uh, you know, it may have felt as if, you know, it wasn't ending. That's what I'm picking up. So I'll come back to this energy in a moment. The next energy that I'm looking at is showing to me that, you know, when it comes to this loving connection, you might be feeling confused about whether you can have your happily ever after with them, whether this connection can fulfill you. It feels like you don't know where you stand with this person. There's this element of where you could be slightly in denial or not facing the situation as well as you can. Feels like a stalemate, feels like this relationship has come to a standstill and it's not moving forward. But the love between the two of you is present. It just feels as if it's not moving forward. Now, this person could be the type of individual that comes in and out of your life for some of you. Maybe when they need something or they need your care and attention, they return to you. And I feel like you constantly feed into that energy because you feel connected to them and you want to, you know, nourish their soul. For some reason, I'm seeing this energy of a person who's very wounded, right? When it comes to these energies, what I get is that someone could be very independent or very busy in terms of their life. There's either a lack of an ability to pour more energy into this connection. Maybe this individual is preoccupied with their responsibilities and obligations from their own life that they cannot uh, fully invest on an emotional level to this relationship. So that could be keeping things from moving forward. Some of you could be dealing with a person who is a lone spirit. Right, okay, so let's begin the clarification process. I feel like 
some of you feel disappointed because this individual wasn't making this connection a priority, but they were getting a lot of uh, love from this relationship, okay? Yeah. One individual is not communicating right now. They could be very busy with their own life. And so they're not making an attempt to let you know what's happening in their world. Yeah, I feel like love is being blocked. This individual is not investing as much as they could have, as they were before. There might have been a little bit more balance in the past, but it feels like this individual is thinking about their own needs. There's this element of confusion about whether or not to commit or whether or not to come towards this relationship. It feels as if this individual is confused about the future of this connection and they don't know what they want. But I'm also picking up this energy of uh, regret, regret over something. This could be connected to you, could be connected to another situation. But I'm sensing here that this individual is uh, a little bit afraid of ending up with regrets, right? But I feel like they're not making any sort of changes. Like they don't know whether or not they should make this a priority in their world. The uncertainty of what could be lost is definitely weighing on their mind. may have been an ending it feels like it was a very heavy investment of energy into this relationship but this individual even though you were doing so much for them they were still keeping this very independent spirit you know they were preoccupied with their own needs their own objectives they weren't really you know putting that energy or effort someone wasn't putting that energy or effort in towards building this connection it feels as if a breakup occurred or something caused an ending and now there's a lack of communication, right? There's this energy of conflict. There's some negative energies here that are playing uh, havoc in terms of the situation. Yeah. I feel like when things ended between the two of you, you may have felt very disgruntled because you felt as if this individual might have other options or that this individual was going to go in pursuit of someone else. For some of you, there could have been a fear in the back of your mind that this individual stopped talking because there was another individual coming into the picture. There could have been a confrontation uh, with this person, like, why aren't they making you a priority? Why aren't they, uh, you know, doing more for this connection? seeing that you know you wanted a relationship with this individual that was going to be based on them treating you in a fair manner okay I feel like you wanted this person to do more for you than what they were doing for you and it feels like you know you felt very challenged by this individual because you may have wanted to you know control the situation you may have felt as if you could change this individual by talking to them or by treating them really well, I do feel like you was moving towards um, this energy of wanting commitment and stability, but there were other elements here that were hidden from you. It feels as if either a secret or something wasn't coming to the forefront. There's this energy of you fighting or choosing your battles. Yeah, there's a fear of deception. I feel like a lot of you might have been afraid that this individual had other options or that they were not 
being completely honest with you. So that's something that's very real there, you know, that this individual might go off and find someone else and you were trying to make it work all the time. For some of you, you could have been dealing with someone who made their work a priority. And there could be a fear that this individual is using work as an excuse to uh, have a side romance or do something. For some of you, this could be the case. seeing there's a lot of grief and fear here that this individual you know because they want to be in control they want to be in charge you yourself couldn't walk away from this individual but there was a fear that they might go and uh, you know find another individual so you may not know where you really stand with this person it feels like you were constantly trying to make things work but it did get very frustrating yeah you made a lot of sacrifices for this connection in order for the two of you to come together. And it feels like this individual may not have been taking all of that into account. Some of you are definitely devastated from how this person has treated you, how they behave towards you. You know, you may have been stuck in a cycle where you were consistently trying to make things work, but um, they weren't making you a priority in their life. You did a lot to lift this person up. Yeah, you were putting a lot of effort and energy into this person. But they couldn't make up their mind on what they wanted in this situation. I feel like you're watching them very closely, thinking to yourself that this person may, you know, betray this relationship. But this person is feeling stuck, right? There's something going on with this individual. Like it feels as if they got wrapped up in a situation where they don't know what to do. And it feels like they don't want to turn their back to their options, but they don't want to turn their back to this relationship at hand. They're trying to think about the future, but there's something that is breaking their heart. There's something that's causing them to feel an immense amount of pain. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be exploring what is really going on with this individual. What is causing this pain in their life? Where is it coming from? Where do you really stand in relation to this individual? What are they feeling? What are they thinking in regard to you? What is the right way to move forward? If you feel as if your partner or the individual that you've broken up with is distracted or not giving you the attention that you were receiving at one point in time, what is the right way to you know create that attraction again and to move the connection forward in a direction that you would like to take the relationship? I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.